Christian, who believe mankind's about to face its final reckoning. A sadist with a silver tongue, who's been gathering lost souls from far and wide, promising eternal salvation. He's gone to ground, hasn't been seen in months, but folk been saying he's put out a call to arms for some kind of mass cleansing of sin. Groups of his followers are camped out in Roanoke Ridge, north of Annisburg, waiting for their shepherd to appear and show them the way. Maybe one of them has some information that'll lead you to him, so he can face his own reckoning. But maybe more like a feudal lord, way he runs that country up there. It's medieval, I tell you. Anyone wants to trade fur near Nick, they got to be ready for a fight. So I guess that's what happened to get him in trouble. They sent a marshal up there to speak to him a few days ago. Been captured, most like. Don't let that happen to you. Usually, Marshal, it's dogs who fight my bears. Ah, shit, I know you. I make a special case. We'll be fine. Ah, but first, we drink. Come on! Ah. You brought the Marshal here. Come to save him, huh? Huh? Hey, please. Looks like you have me cornered here. I'm going down. He going to. Oh, yes. Carmela Montez. Sweet, innocent little Carmela. Looks like butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. But make no mistake, this is one stone-cold killer. Vicious as all hell. And by the time you realize, you'll already be dead. Can't think of an outlaw who's dropped more bodies than Carmela the past six months, and she ain't lost a wink of sleep over it. Got a big bunch of Del Lobos running with her now. Moved them out of New Austin into West Elizabeth, sticking up coaches, robbing, and murdering. Last I heard, they're holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch in Big Valley. Just watch yourself. Ain't no way she'll come quietly. Mr. Philip Carlier. I don't know where to start with this one. I remember when his poster first went up. Mild-mannered, they said. Well, they all are, until they ain't. I might have even looked for him, too, but none of us could find him. It sounds like they spotted him in the swamps. If that's where he's been, on the run all this time, then God help him. Ain't much in the way of company out there, or much that won't try and eat you or put you on a pike. Got to ask what years of that might have done to his mind. Take ever you're here. See, I've been here for must be years. Trap. See, I, I thought no one would ever come. Philip Carlier, the Castile Cotton Company chief clerk. But uh, I'm sure you already know that, given why you're here. My, my, I can't imagine how it must look. <laughs> oh, no, no time for any of that. Now, if you'll just let me. Oh. So hoping for someone to share this with. Comes on rather strong for first time, does it not? <laughs> the Wolf Man. You heard about him? Sounds like a tall tale, don't it? A man living up there with the wolves. I wish it was. 
He's a real life monster, and one that needs hunting down and... <laughs> well, one of the two ways it can go. Go up to Lake Isabella and look around those parts. You don't freeze to death. You might just find him. Be warned. This little son of a bitch, Cecil Tucker. <laughs> His crime was cowardly, killing good folks in their sleep. And he's been a coward ever since, running off and hiding out. But I'll tell you what, if your crimes are heinous enough, they're gonna catch up with you. I hear he went to the Lemoyne Raiders over near Fort Brennan, hoping they'd protect him. And most probably they will. <laughs> Up to a point. They fancy themselves gorillas this bunch, so I'd come ready for underhand tactics of some sort. Ah, Barbarella Alcazar, our bandit queen. Sooner her bloody reign comes to an end, the better, I'd say. I'm a mite sad I ain't gonna be the one to bring her down myself. Let's see. She came over this side of the San Luis with a bunch of men, Del Lobos for the most part. And there ain't been no let up in bloodshed since. I think they're all held up at that old mine, Gap Tooth Breach. Unless you're real, real delicate, I would expect a confrontation with this lady. All right, Etta Doyle, used to be known as Madame La Pearl. She runs a gang of other fallen women, sticking up trains and coaches mostly, but seems to have a particular fancy for Robin Leviticus Cornwall of late. So his men have set a honeypot to lure her in. Tipped her off about a big stash of money and ammunition at Cornwall's freight yard in San Denis. Asked if I can send some good bounty hunters their way. Just be careful. They play smart. Well, it looks like she only sent one. Okay, we gotta move fast here, come on. Now the bait's already been set. Edda Doyle and her girls could be here any minute. Mr. Cornwall, you don't want his name anywhere near this for reasons I'm sure you can understand. Just wants it dealt with quick and quiet. You're gonna wanna ensconce yourself in here. Now wait till they bust in, and then, when the moment's right, ambush Miss Doyle and escort her into custody. They want her alive. You get paid, we get rid of her, and everyone's happy. Now, don't worry about her cronies. She's the one with the price on her head. They're notorious for dressing alike. So you bide your time, you figure out which one's doing. You'll know for sure when you see her face. Got a big old scar down her right cheek. And we're just gonna hang around and stand guard, create some semblance of security, and just pray the crazy bitch don't bust in and shoot us straight in the face. All right, now, it's time. Find a place to hide, and we'll wait for the guest of honor. The Owl Hoot family. First off, they ain't no family. More like an unhinged congregation of the worst bastards and bitches on God's green earth. You think they look bad on this poster? Wait till you see how folks look after the family's done with them. Bringing just one of these Owl Hoots down will not cut it here. You'll have to get all four of them that's on the list. They shouldn't be too far away from each other, but you'll have to do some looking. And when you get them, don't hold back. Goddamn anarchist. Sergio Vincenza. He ain't even American either. Did you know he was gonna kill the governor if they didn't find him out? And who can guess how many minds he poisoned talking that collectivist nonsense? Stopping this loud mouth is what the law was made for. Ain't gonna be easy, though. I heard he's bedded in deep with a bunch of these zealots. Oh, 
And he's a former military sharpshooter, too. <laughs> My brother, liberty will be shackled at all cost. That is how government works. I used to use this rifle to fight for them, but now it is turned the other way. Whatever happens, we must be strong, amigo. Now, this gentleman, Mr. Tobin Winfield III, he's more used to signing off on bounties than being the subject of them. But no one cries when a corrupt politician gets their comeuppance. I believe he's hiding out in Thieves Landing. Yeah, the man's a thief, but not the same kind as the rest of them down there. I'd wager he won't survive the week. From the looks of this poster, you're to recover the deeds that he stole, so make sure you find them. I'm here. I'm here. You got me. I come willingly, but uh, please hear me out. I'm in danger. Not from you fine people. Rather some cutthroats. I was quite unwise to trust. I promised them the deeds that I uh, misappropriated if they would help me flee. Now, I have it on good authority that they mean to kill me for those deeds. Protect me, and they're yours. I'll give it all back. Yes? Good. Good. Follow me. They will be here very soon. Red Ben Clemson. Dresses like he's on the way to church. Acts like he's never heard a sermon. Rob enough trains, one of these companies is gonna put a price on your head, or maybe all of them. He's a hero to some folks, a villain to others, and most likely somewhere in between. Hey, this might interest you. A fella he used to run with lost his leg, became real bitter with it. He's got himself a vested interest in Ben's demise. Meet him over at Mercer Station, he might tell you where to go. Yeah. 